Hi Pisces, welcome to your May 2021 monthly general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And this card is the main theme that Source wants to tell you for this month of May. What's going on? What energies are coming to you? Share space. It's number two. Telepathy. Co-creation. Communing. Honoring. Oh, this is beautiful, Pisces. Look at that. This also works on your subconscious. Sacred geometry and light codes to open up that share space. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, what I'm getting is this month of May, it's all about opening up your heart, sharing yourself with others, um, compassion, communication, unity. To me, that's the higher vibration of the Aquarian age, which that's what's coming in. We're getting every day that we move forward, the Aquarius age, that energy is stronger and stronger. And you're to assist bringing that in. Using your intuitive, kind, sensitive, um, compassionate self. And, and opening that vulnerable, sensitive, compassionate self. Opening that up and just sharing you. And then that enables others to also open that space up for themselves and I was drawn to telepathy Pisces you have telepathic abilities and maybe some of you know that already maybe some of you don't but that's opening up or expanding for you this month of May as well so it's really communing and, and gathering together it's time to start all of us to start forming a closer, more compassionate, caring environment, sharing. Anyway, I'm just getting, wow, that's, that's beautiful. Let's see what else comes up for Pisces for this month of May for sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Pisces. What else do you want to say? Okay. Here we go. Look at that. The sun. The sun. Yes. Yes. What I'm seeing is Pisces is you're going to start to be able to open yourself up where where you've been closed off and um, protecting yourself and of course protecting your vulnerability and your sensitivity because of all the harshness in the world, you're going to start this month of May is the beginning for you to be able to feel safe enough to let your guard down in whatever way that is for you, Pisces. It's going to be different for all of you, but in doing that, the sun comes in and shines bright, and you will be rewarded for that. Again, I was drawn to the, there's a butterfly too. So again, it has everything to do with transformation, opening up, showing your true self, being able to shed that armor 
because you've had to have armor. You had to protect yourself in the past. Well, now that's being able to be shed in whatever way, and you will know that is beautiful. And you can start relaxing. Again, this is the beginning of this, of this time for you. Wow. And fully blossom. Fully come into who you are and allow yourself to shine in your individual way with your abilities. Telepathic, psychic, whatever that is, because Pisces, and depending on how much Pisces you have in you is going to be depending on what your unique gifts are. But regardless, you get to shine your light. Your individual, unique, special light. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, and the Empress is on the bottom of the deck, which is complete balance, harmony, peace, um, communing with nature and all the creatures, all the living creatures, seeing the importance. They're all alive, all energetically alive. And, and there's the seven of pentacles. And to me, I'm seeing the seven of pentacles a lot like the empress, a lot like the empress, because here we have the the breeze, I'm seeing a breeze, and the flowers are around her, and the wheat stalks, and there's a butterfly, and there are horses that are flying. That to me is imagination. That is spirituality. That is um, creative ability. Did I say birds and butterflies? Yes. and and stars, and that stars in the sky, in the night sky, um, just really becoming in tune, intuitively in tune with all of the energies of nature. That's beautiful, Pisces, and it opens up your heart. Okay. And in doing that, spending time in nature for some of you, that is what's going to open up, allow your yourself to open up and be able to express yourself because that gets you in balance and um, that armor, that protective armor, whatever that is that you have had to have in the past, being out in nature and just relaxing and becoming just attuning yourself to whatever comes into your environment there while you're sitting out in nature is going to be very beneficial for you, Pisces, this month especially. And you're going to let your guard down and, and you're going to start seeing things about yourself, intuitive things that you did not know. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get some more. Just one more card. Some more detail about the share space. Communing with nature, co-creation, honoring nature, honoring all life. You're going to see life in a new way. I'm getting two for some of you. How every living creature is interconnected. We are all interconnected. And the energies and how those different energies. I don't know something about the energies. Of, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, let's take those are all interconnected and they're essential and we all can benefit each, you can benefit from each one of those energies in nature 
and you, um, they can benefit from you. I'm just, okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles, yes, I am seeing, okay, I was drawn to the hands at the top. Um, whatever your gifts are, whatever your abilities are, those natural, telepathic, intuitive, co-creating abilities, you're going to start opening up to that and honoring that about yourself. You're going to see that that is something that is needed, is your specialty and you're going to see it that way and again I'm drawn to all the animals around this wheel it looks this eight of pentacles wheel um, the animals the creatures when you're out in nature you're going to see that's they are going to assist you whatever animal insect plants come into your environment while you are out in nature they have something to tell you they have something to share with you about you I'm getting oh that's beautiful you're just gonna see on a deeper level if you already know that uh, it's just gonna go deeper and you're gonna expand your awareness in that way it's just gonna go deeper than you ever thought so something so keep an eye out for those signs and synchronicities especially with animals insects plants, trees, nature in general. Okay. Yeah, that's going to fill you up. Queen of Cups. Your emotional cup is going to be filled. And I'm getting it. Your heart space open, big, big and filled emotionally clearer, pure about yourself, about the world in general, um, whatever it is, it's going to be different for each one of you, but it's something very special to you, very sacred to you this month. Ace of Swords, and then the Ace of Swords. Whatever this is, whatever this expansion is, whatever this um, deeper um, ability that is coming to the forefront for you about who you are and what you have to share, it's, I'm just seeing, it's solid, it's solid. And it increases your solid base of who you are and and the ability to again let that guard down that you have you thought was protection well now it it actually you're going to see some of you are going to see that that protection which could have been absolutely necessary i'm not knocking that at all but what you're going to see now for some of you is that by letting that go you then, and letting your own self, your true self shine through and just you be you, that is your strength. And that gets you solid. I'm just seeing that, that sword standing and that's your strength. That's your strength. And you're, if, if you're already seeing that, you're going to just be expanding on that this month of May and into June and through the whole summer months but yes solar plexus and the sun so self-worth your solar plexus strong solid yeah that's beautiful okay let's see what let's go deeper with this for you let me just do one Pisces Okay, so 
So let's go a little deeper with this sun for Pisces. Let's get some more details. I'm just seeing really great expansion with this sun card having to do with you and your true self and just being who you truly are. Okay. Letting go of any falsehoods, anything because that's that's been stopping you, that's been blocking you. For whatever reason you you had to do that. Yeah, okay, so yeah, six of swords, you whatever stormy waters, rocky waters, um, choppy waters you've been going through, it's smoothing out this month. Smoothing out and you get peace and harmony and balance. Yes, you're putting down, this is the 10 of wands, you're putting down some heavy responsibility that you've been working through. Whatever that is, you've completed that, 10, and you get to put that heavy, burdensome responsibility down. It's being cleaned up, cleared out, purified this month of May. That's beautiful, beautiful. Let me just see what that word is. Let's see. Yeah, any oppression, anything that's been oppressive to you. This is the Ten of Swords. Um, yes, you are, you're breaking free of that finally because you've taken care of whatever that is and you can now leave it in the past and walk forward with wisdom and bright future, bright future. Okay, let's see. Seven of Pentacles is it? Okay. Well, we have a lot. Why so much? Okay, so let me take. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna do this. That's what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Isn't that amazing? How many? The right amount of cards came out. Okay. So that's what was to be. Okay, so under this Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords. So you have two tens. So a big completion, a big, and this was drawn to the Saturn. This has to do with your responsibilities. This has to do with, um, Saturn has to do with heavy responsibilities, um, a, a cycle of, um, You've had to stay focused and working through something Saturnian because Saturn is that father figure energy, that um, keeping your nose to the grindstone energy. And so whatever that was, you had to do that. You were forced to do that. And um, of course it wasn't fun, but you learned so much. You gained so much wisdom. So... Um, again, that's the wands energy, but also the swords, 10 of swords, something had to, you had to work through something and something that, that you had to let go of. And that's another 10. And so you've been going, working through big stuff as well. Aquarius also. So both, and you might have Aquarius in your chart too. So you, that might, you might be drawn to also watch the Aquarius for monthly reading for Aquarius as well for some of you. Yeah. So, and some of you might have a Gemini sun. You don't have to though, but again, major, major cycles, two or one huge one completing and you're being able to leave behind again you had to with this ten of um, swords I'm seeing you had to um, totally completely tear down something that was not you and discard that and now you're ready again you've your garden you've planted a new you've planted seeds and this is what you, you had to tear this down and let it go, whatever that was. You'll know what that is. 
and you've been planting seeds. And so now in May, you're going to get to watch and watch it blossom into what you and who you truly are. Okay. And then some of you have been working towards, this is the lover's card. So maybe some of you are, have been um, desiring a partner or maybe, maybe even if you haven't been desiring a partner, that's what you, because you've been working on yourself and your inner self and um, balancing you and being who you truly are, um, you're going to be coming into alignment now with a true life partner who matches who you truly are. <clears throat> now, that's beautiful. Wow. <clears throat> Nine of Swords is under the Queen of Cups. You've really gone through it, Pisces. Wow. So where you have been unable to sleep, you've been um, in turmoil, in confusion, um, I'm seeing not, you've really been losing sleep over where do you go? What, what's your next step? Where in life or whatever that is, you just couldn't emotionally scattered, emotionally, um, upset. Well, no more, no more because you have the queen of cups. So you've been dealing with some heavy stuff. Well, not anymore. So this in May here, you're going to come into balance emotionally, um, physically, spiritually. Your, your cup is full and you're at peace with yourself. You are balanced. You're balancing all of this in May. And then the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, that's nice. Again, solid, abundance, balanced, prosperous. And abundance can mean many things. Peaceful. And that fits right with what you have cut through and how solid you are now coming into May, through May, and through the summer for some of you. It just keeps increasing. And yes, so you just watch your abundance, prosperity. You are going to completely be at peace with yourself and your surroundings. So some of you could be physically moving to a someplace in the country, something in place that makes you peaceful and, and it matches who you are now inside. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's get what main astrological energy is for Pisces this month. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for this general reading for Pisces. Libra, balance, yes. May is about balance for you. It's about peace, it's about harmony, it's about I even got justice for some of you. And partnership, unity with others, um, coming together, whether it's friends, maybe family members, um, romantic, it could be all of course yourself first and foremost that's that is goes without saying but yes others too yeah i just got i was drawn back to share space and i just got yes others are now because you've been doing personal work now and and again you're going to be different on your path every all each and every one of you but may is starting this energy of bringing in um, others are going to start coming into your reality 
who are like-minded just like you. A lot of cooperation. Yes, okay, and I just got to telepathically. Pisces, you could be calling people telepathically to you because, again, you have your energy, your frequency has been raising because of all of the personal work you have been doing, whatever that is. And so you are going to automatically, you telepathically, energetically are, are sending that new energy out of who you are, and that's calling others that are like-minded to come into your reality, your environment, and sharing and cooperating in whatever whatever way that is. Okay. Now let's let's get some see what other information. Let's get some other cards coming in and just get some more details for Pisces. Okay. Yes, yes, look at that. It says beyond the ordinary, and that is you. That is you, Pisces. You are beyond the ordinary. And you can now be so proud of that. And you just stand and, and be that. I just see you can feel good about that, that you are not like everyone else. You are unique. You are special. You have something that no one else has to offer to the world, to yourself, to others. It's number 45. Yes, and you get to honor that. And you also, you will see that coming back to you. Others will honor you as well. Because you are truly being who you are. And regardless of just allowing and letting your guard down, being your vulnerable, sensitive self. And it's a process. It's a process. I do understand that. I'm a Pisces, and I'm still working through that as well with myself. Okay, so 45 could be significant. Number nine could be significant. Higher mind, yes. You're moving into your higher self. Your higher self. Okay, let's get one more before I close this reading. Okay, let's get another. Let's see a little bit more into this month for Pisces in May. And I just got to draw, being drawn back to this Libra card. Others who are coming into your reality are also balanced. They have been taking care of themselves as well. And so um, it's just a peaceful environment for all of you. And it just... Um, Wow, that energy just explodes for some of you and expands out, and that's that's just beautiful, beautiful. Whoopsie. Flowers, too, could be significant for the um, color pink. Oh, yes, and just the scent of flowers, too, could be very healing for some of you. The scent, the sight, all of that, and, and the color pink. I'm getting. Okay, let's just one more for Pisces. Yes, freedom. You get to spread your wings and fly far and wide, Pisces. That's beautiful. And you see, I just got drawn. See all those other birds in the background. See, to me, this is you. And then there are others that are coming also that are that are like you. They are on your same wavelength. And you're all flying high together. Communing together. Communing. 
co-creating. Just what this says, honoring each other. Look at that. Beautiful Pisces. Beautiful. Where you've been alone, no more. No more. Others are coming in. Others that are like you, like-minded, same vibrational frequency level. That's beautiful, Pisces. You've earned it. Enjoy yourself. And enjoy the rest of this month. And I just got to get out in the sun. Get out in the sun, in nature. That will also rejuvenate you. Okay? Well, that's all I have for you, Pisces. Until next time.